so much for taking the time and effort to come all the way to Italy to celebrate us. And we hope that you just have a weekend of fun. That's what this was designed to be, fun for us to celebrate our love, but also fun for you to celebrate the amount that we love all of you too. So please eat, enjoy, meet each other, make new friends, just have a good time. Thank you. special occasion and it's been made even more memorable by having each and every one of you here to celebrate it with us. As a mother, all I've ever wanted for my son is for him to do the very best he can in everything he does in life and to be happy. Seeing how happy Samantha makes him is absolutely wonderful and all that I could ask for. I'm immensely proud of my son and all that he has achieved so far in life, and I know he will do so much more, and wish them a wonderful life together. It gives me great pleasure to look at these wonderful people here who comes here to celebrate the occasions of Samantha and Carlos my beautiful granddaughter, of whom I'm so proud. Congratulations. You have both done us all proud. Thank you all, and thank you for coming. You're well appreciated. It was the 25th of February 2019 and you took me to meet some of your friends at Kaya's house. They welcomed me with such authenticity and openness and I could see the amount of love that they had for you and the joy in your eyes as we all sat around the table chatting and laughing together.
In that moment, you seemed whole, and I felt so accepted and so complete. It was that night that we told each other that we love each other, and that's when the adventure really began. Samantha, you have bettered every aspect of my life and me as a person. I remember that feeling in Antigua, nervous to ask you to spend the rest of our lives together, but confident it was the best thing I would ever do. Very grateful for how you open your heart and your mind to others, but most especially to me. incredibly lucky to have you and to have someone as beautiful as you to wake up to every morning and to share my future with. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Carlos and Samantha. It is fitting that we're here in beautiful, virgin Siena. We step out of our daily lives, our daily routines, to sequester ourselves so we can fully bear witness to this truly special moment in both their lives without distraction. And they have assembled you as a congregation, their family, their closest friends. Some of you have known these two since they took their very first breaths through every phase of their lives, through childhood, adolescence, school, and we have all in one way or another watched as they have formed into the magnificent people that we see standing before us now. Just look at them. <laughs> what can I say? They're gorgeous. Separately stunning, but together they are unmatched. I mean, their genetic makeup alone is arresting. They're successful. They're driven, they're incredibly intelligent, certainly the brightest in their peer groups. They probably spend most of their time dumbing themselves down to keep the rest of us from feeling inferior. <laughs> and they are clearly best friends 
and deeply in love. Are you hanging on? Black love operates on a frequency of its own. It's a shared language, a communication through coded looks, head nods, and vocal expressions. <laughs> oh, it's the recognition of scars of a shared history, both internal and external. It's understanding the complexities of our complexions. It's boundary breaking, defying a world that attempts to restrict its growth. It's wrapping your hair at night and not having to explain why. It's truthful, it's honest, it's direct, even when you don't want it to be. It's the freedom to unapologetically be your black self. It sounds like music soul child. It looks like Dre and Sid in brown sugar. It smells like cocoa butter and hair grease. It moves like the electric slide. It shows up an hour late to your own wedding white party. But it always shows up. Black love is excellence. Samantha and Carlos, your love is excellence. I love black love and I love your love. So I promise to continually uplift you and support you, to be kind, to be patient, to look out for you and to look after you. And I will always have your back and make sure that you continue to achieve. I promise to continue to make you laugh even when times are tough, as getting that incredible smile from you is everything to me. I love you. I promise to love and support you to achieve everything you want to achieve and to give you the space that you need to continue to grow into the man that you want to become, while also being your biggest and loudest cheerleader. And finally, I promise to stick to the four agreements that we made at the beginning of our relationship. Be kind to each other, be patient with each other, to look out for each other, and to look after each other. I love you. I take you, Samantha, to be my wife. I take you, Carlos, to be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Until death do us part. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>
you have dedicated yourself to understanding others, learning and teaching and making the world a generally a better place and I'm grateful for that as I benefit from meeting someone who understands me, teaches me and makes me a better man. With two PhDs, private practice, articles in Vogue, mentoring the next generation of black psychologists as well as a day job, I'm just incredibly proud of you. So I'd like to raise a toast to my incredible wife. You light up every room you walk into and I love you so much, to Samantha Adam. <laughs>
more I've been knocked down for so long Trying to figure out and hold on It ain't work out, I'm so lost Oh, no more What will it take to go on? Where you don't shake it all off How do you break and go strong? Oh, no Feeling like I'm exhausted Hide your heart of pain I'll be reaching out to the other side Looking like I've been running 